Hey guys, welcome back to Jaffo Plays. I am still playing Shadows of Brimstone with a bunch of my friends, Steve, Neo, and Azzy. Uh, when this gets filmed, guys, it has been about a month since we've had a chance to play this game. So, unfortunately, our lives got the better of us, and we just had to catch up and be human for once. Um, I know that goes against, I guess, YouTube standards and Twitch standards, but hey, too bad we're human. Uh, we are still playing the Escape Mission from the Swamps of Death book. Uh, previously, <clears throat> we did what we're probably about to find out is a really bad idea. We opened three of the four doors. We have three exploration tokens on them. And we're going to find out what happens to those. Hey, it's alright. I have a shock stick. We'll be good. You have a shock stick. Alright. We're, we're saved. As he has a shock stick, we're all good. Everybody, we can go home. <laughs> we're good as he wins. I got this. Alright. I believe we ended last... It was the end of the hero phase, which means we start with the exploration phase. Uh, we'll just do this in initiative order of punishment. So you're the fastest, Neo. Flip a token. We're going to get an encounter there, and we got a clue token. That's a clue token is pretty good for us. Um, that's going to get us uh, one additional step on the, on, the jar, on the chart to get the heck out of dodge. Um, is this all my uh, lovely yep. punishment that I forgot to pick up? Great. <laughs> Loaded with bandages and beer. Well, actually, whiskey. I'm deeply spiritual over here. Um, so we add one encounter card there. Uh, S Steve, you're next. You pick one you want to flip over. We're getting an encounter there, and we're going to need a uh, portal gate there. That's also another spot forward. Maybe we won't die as fast as we thought we were. We shuffle that up there. Uh, roll me a d6, and that is where your gate is. One. So it is. It is this gate over here is a portal. The other two are end capped. Yours has three doors, which means all three of these are open. Finally, I'm the last one in here. Gets punishment. Encounter times two. Well, because we're playing the advanced, there's automatically the broken lift. And one additional one. These get to be resolved in the orders we choose. Um, there's one door, so we'll roll for the die there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need an additional end cap when you get time there, sir. Right here as well. All right, that gets us through. We'll flip these up. So we got a couple of uh, remains in plays. Let's see. Drips of acid fall from the ceiling here, burning anything they touch and collecting in luminescent pools on the cavern floor. Every time a hero starts their activation on this map tile, they must pass an agility 5 plus test or take D3 wounds. When scavenging this map tile, cancel and redraw nothing here cards are drawn. This map tile may be scavenged up to three times. So there's your acid drip. You found a drippy cavern there, Blondie. Great. Um, let's see. Voices. Voice of corruption over by me. As you enter the room, the light seems to dim and flicker. In your head, you hear a, rasp a raspy voice, more ancient than time itself. Come closer. Release me, and I will give you power beyond your wildest dreams. Uh, random player. You have a five spirit? I'm Do you want to be uh, spiritual with this ghost? Sure, why not? Uh, unfortunately, it is a random player. So. Does she have to be in the room? I believe so, and I might be randomly me. <laughs> no, I mean me. Or your room? That comes off of that room. I thought we had a gunner dude in there. Or a shooter. No, yeah, we have the. Uh, Chief fails a lot in there. Maybe we're just talking about that. Could be. That's probably it. Alright, we had to stop for a second in there and check some rules. Because, again, it's been a while since we've even looked at this game. Um, we did also miss one thing. Blondie has that ability that he's allowed to uh, draw two, two cards for the room that he's in. We decided uh, getting burned alive in the acid drips is better than uh, playing an abandoned hideout which is, we just don't think we can do the tests to make that. Um, 
So, as we looked up, that symbol means everybody in the mine gets to make that test. So everybody needs to make a spirit 5 plus test. To, as a reminder, whatever your number is, that's how many dice you get. From that, you're going to roll that, any 5 plus you get. All right, you need to make a spirit five plus test. You. Uh, I got a six, so I'm good. You got a six, you're good. Everybody who passed gain 10 XP and heal D6 sanity damage. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no sanity, no sanity back. You know, one bunch of us took some uh, brain damage as we walked into the mine from scaring the crap out of each other. Oh, I'm glad I was a little, uh, didn't really matter what I rolled. Well, hey, you're all right. So that takes care of the voice of corruption. So then we got two here in this one. We've got a broken lift, and we've got a void layer. The void layers are remaining in play. The broken lift is why the broken mine shaft is here. Um, all right. An old mining lift lies at the far end of the room. You might be able to get it working. Choose. Somebody can try to repair the mine lift, making a cunning six plus test. Or a random person gets chosen to ignore the lift and move on. My cunning is not very good. So. I'm a cunning of one. I am cunning of three. You're better than me. What do you got? So we've all got three. So we can either choose to repair the lift, or we can choose to ignore the lift and move on. It's just one person gets to repair it. Uh, well, no, actually, it's everybody. If we try to repair the lift, we all will make a cunning test. Oh yeah. Uh, for each for each six that we roll, um, you'll get twenty five x. Heroes gain twenty five xp for each six that they roll. If at least one hero passes the test, you get the lift working and bring it up, finding valuable goods inside. Each hero gets to draw loot. If no one passes, the noise is attracted and one attention, and we will get an attack in that room instead. Well, we have ten chances then to, uh... So, we want to fix it? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Let's do something cool. Shit. Oh, sweet. Not me. You! Everybody who rolled a six gets 25 experience points. Uh, from that, we fixed the lift, got it back up. Shuffling that deck of loot cards, and here we go. Everybody gets some fat loot. I get two and pick one. Oh, you get two? Oh, that's right. Everything you do is two pick one. Ooh. What? I feel like <laughs> I'm two people that actually did the work. What? I got <laughs> 20 XP and 100 gold. You guys were busy fixing. I was busy stealing the money. I see that. On the dark stone shard. Nice. I got 20 XP and 100 gold. Nice. Yeah, apparently you guys were uh, busy working and I was busy looting. <laughs> it works. <clears throat> All right. That last card that has to be resolved in there is now a void layer. The passage has been covered in thick, sticky webs and soft egg sacs lined the walls of, and floor. Mm -hmm. All heroes on this map tile need to roll one higher to hit their attacks, i.e. four pluses become five pluses. Also, roll a d6. That's you. Roll a d6. Um, dormant egg sacks, no effect. But this is a remains in play. So while you go to there, it's a void layer, and it's not so good. So, wonderful. And there we go. That actually wasn't that bad of an uh, encounter phase. So we'll scoop these up. Yep. We know where we can go for doors. And there we go. We, uh, after that, we go to the end phase. There is nothing that happens in the end phase. And from there, we begin again. Starting with a hold back to darkness. I do not hold back the darkness. That's all right. We can let the darkness come out a little bit. It's dark and scary in here. Uh, starting with the fastest player, that would be you. Unless somebody else has got a six these days. Looking at you there, uh, Francis. Did you get increased initiative yet or no? I think she's in initiative six. Doesn't this... 
Stick gives you plus one initiative. Oh, yeah, it does. I don't think I wrote that down because I think I got that towards the end there. And Could be. Mm-hmm. Do you want to go first, or do you want him to, or do you want him to go first? You can, go first? you can go first. Ladies first. Oh, forcing it upon the woman. Rude. Rude. <laughs> I'll just die as herpeter. Yeah, well, a little extra drilling is it okay? What are we doing? Roll your roll your speed. A speed of one, gain a grit. Sweet. I like grit. Uh, can this room be scavenged? Has this room been scavenged? I do not believe so. The so one we're in, you can scavenge that room. You can take a step forward and explore that area. If you want, I think. Don't we have three rooms open already, though? I feel like Probably nothing else can come. You can there. scavenge the room if you want. It has not been scavenged, according to previous records from eons ago. Um, or you could open another door. Yeah, nothing bad is going to come out of these now, correct? They're correct. Open. They're open. And that room over there, you can actually scavenge it three times. You just get burned a little bit. Maybe. Because <coughs> I like loot. Because okay. I never learn. I never learned at all. Because I didn't succeed. Just go through there, <coughs> Yeah, I think so. Because I think it's one of those that you can either scavenge or you can open up the door. Okay. So, uh, then you're the other six. Your choice. Well, I'll scavenge the room. Well, first thing you're going to do is you're going to yep. give me a d6 roll. You're going to get a grit, and you're not moving very much farther either. Nope. And I didn't scavenge. Okay. <coughs> That's exciting turn for you. Uh, you're by yourself. You're faster than me. Okay. Um, Give me an init- or a speed roll. Holy crap, everybody's got ones for grits today. Grit, grit everywhere. Scavenge, I guess. Do I have to make that test? Uh, I believe so. Anytime anything happens in there, it okay. says so every time a hero start their turn. So make an agility test. I'm not super good. At yes. Apparently you are. Good enough. And You're feeling especially three dice. Every today. six gets you a card. Every six got him a card. It says scavenge get modified by you. It does. I get two cards. Uh, as long as one of them doesn't say nothing is here. You're uh, good. None of them say nothing's here. But I don't want that. <laughs> He's choosing to remove the Emerging Darkness card. Very <laughs> smart move. There's a reason why the Drifter has been along for, alive for so long. Mm-hmm. He knows not to take the Growing Dread cards and the Darkness cards. And he gets himself a small fine. Go ahead and throw a single scavenge token on there. However, an additional one can, or two additional ones can be placed. Yeah, it's your turn. That is to me. Okay. Two. Okay. At least I'm not. At least I'm I moving. Still move one? Yeah. I want to get off that tile. You can. I don't want to stop your activation. Um. Let's see. One, two. I guess I'll move two in. And I also will scavenge. Or Might be moving his first. I don't scavenge either. That is it. That is the end of the hero phase. There is no enemy or exploration phase. No end phase. Hold back the darkness. Seven is good. Barely, but I hold that darkness back. Don't you need to go good to the pile? Nope, that's when the green ones oh. go that way. Yeah. Yellow ones are the bottom number. The green ones are everything else. Uh, with that, either Francis or Neo, Wild Bill go may first. go. Speed of six. Go to your room. Coming by me? Yep. Because we can't go too far into One, the room. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very true. And then I will scavenge. Of course you'll scavenge my room, you Wild Bill person. Francis, to you. Five. Roll for speed. I guess I'll follow the group. 
One, two, three, four, five. Puts you in there. And it hasn't been scavenged. Steal my loot! Thank you. You do not steal my loot. Blondie, come steal my loot. You do not come to steal my loot. You're moving one. You do get another grit. I guess you don't get another grit. Oh, you may spend that immediately to roll an additional die. Oh, really? Yes. So, one, two... Oh, uh, wait, you're here, so one, two, three, four, five. Or do you not want to be there? Mm. One, two, three, four, five? Yeah, that's in the way. Only gets you a minus two instead of a minus three. Right. And you can, then you are in my room to steal my loot. Please do. Not happening. I guess it's to me. Any doors you guys would rather go through, please, please advise. No. Nope. Yeah. Then I shall go straight ahead, and I will kick open that door. I have a rail tunnel. Made sure that we we're playing this correctly, so the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to move my depth track up to 10. Now I'm going to make a roll to see if we find that room or the right room to get out of here. I see a 1 and a 4. That is not greater than or equal to 10. So unfortunately, we find the rail tile, which we still need to hunt through our box for. All right, so we finally went digging through our box. We found our map tile. So that we are doing this correct, and please correct us if we are wrong. I believe the rules are as written. If you go to place your tile, and the tiles overlap, the tile cannot be replaced, the map card gets discarded, and a new one gets picked up. In this case, we're getting a short passage. Which will definitely be okay. Yeah. Hopefully. All right, there we go. We found our map tile. We have a short passage way to go through. Unfortunately, that is a, uh, a passage, so it does not get an exploration token. That brings us to the end of the hero phase, the end of the exploration phase, and we begin again with holding back the darkness. I now need an 8+. As the darkness is quite dark. It's a little too dark. Kill or be killed! As our darkness card comes into play. During the next fight, one random enemy group gains extra damage on all their attacks equal to the hero posse level. If drawn during a fight, this goes into effect immediately. Discard this card at the end of a fight, so this will sit in play. They're getting a plus two to their damage roll. Against the next monster that fights us. Oh, that's bad. Do you get an extra darkness card because it... Alright, never mind, I lied! Yeah, it says any time I draw, I'm never going to be drawing a darkness card, so it has to work. But I'm yeah. Gonna... Yeah, let's take this one. Okay. Because the other choice is add growing dread to the stack. Yeah, that sucks. And since you don't have the ability to go, ah, oh, I've yeah, seen better. At least it's weeded out. Yes. There we go. That is the end of that round. Or the hold back to darkness. It'll begin again with one of you two. Tomorrow. Come back tomorrow and see what we're doing. See if we can find our way out of this lost maze of doom. Or will the darkness overcome us all and prevent us from escaping? Come back tomorrow on Jaffo Plays.